Yeah, Nick. Hey, so today, I mean, we got to see Iowa transfer Justin Jacobs uh, make his debut at linebacker for Oregon. Um, so just what did you see from him? What was his impact on the game? Because it looked like he was flying around. Speed. Yeah, he's fast. And again, he has been dealing with the lower body injury. So it was nice to finally see him get on the field. And it kind of gives guys like Jamal Hill, Jeffrey Bassa, and your guy Bryce Betcher a little bit of a break when, uh, you know, when you've got that much depth, you know, it's always that next man up mentality that coaches always praise. And for Dan especially, it's strength in numbers. That's one of his many sayings that he says. And, and this guy, again, you know, he's been on the shelf for six games and it didn't look like he missed a beat. Here's coach on his performance today. Yeah, some good, some bad. I think he'd tell you the same thing. Um, but the guy plays hard. He loves football. I'm glad to see him out there and healthy and competing. And he certainly makes us a better team when we can use him. And we got to talk to him a little bit after the game. And again, he just seemed to have that smile on his face as if it was the first day of school. And that's something that, again, he comes from an Iowa team that is predominantly, you know, they're not going to put up too many points. So, you know, he's on the field a lot. Uh, but he, he, again, he just seemed really happy. He says he seems healthy and he's eager to get back at practice like most Ducks are because we know that they have a very important game next week when they hit the road to take on Utah. Yeah, good win for Oregon. We'll get to Iowa in just a second. But speaking and continuing on the Ducks, Oregon going to have to take this one because up next for them, number 14, Utah, who's right now in the close one with USC and a place that Oregon hasn't won in since 2016 on the road. How tough can he do you think this is going to be for Oregon to get this road win next I, week? I think this is the toughest test they have left uh, on their calendar. I mean, you get USC and Oregon State at home. I think going to Salt Lake City this next one, how good that defense is for Utah. Uh, I think this is by far the toughest test they have left. The last time again, Oregon faced Utah on the road. The 2021 season where, if you remember, Kenny, Oregon got blown out in that one. 38-7 sure was not a good game for Duck fans. It's certainly for myself, just one year out of college. Some big differences, though, this year. Will Cam Rising be on the field? That's a question we're still going to have to wait to be answered until next weekend. Kickoff at Rice Eccles Stadium set at 1230. But before Oregon hits the road, We've got some game fill that needs to be broken down first between this previous matchup, Oregon and Washington State. We're going to show you what led to some of Oregon's success tonight when we come back. 